Okay. Well, we were sad to learn this week that Bill Withers passed away, and we're very sorry, and we felt like uh, we would put Ain't No Sunshine out there. So, uh, thank you for a wonderful song, and uh, here it is. So you need an A minor 7, E minor, G7, A minor 7. Okay. So A minor 7, um, he doesn't do it like this. I'll show you how he does it, but I'm going to play 4th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. And I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna have my thumb on the fifth string, and then I'm gonna hit the three and two. So I'm just gonna go back and forth like that, boom, chick, boom, boom, like that. And uh, and then I'm gonna lift up, and I'm just gonna hit open six string, and then three and two, uh, or you could do uh, three and four, or uh, three four, uh, th two three and four. You want. It's just an E minor chord, so like that, or either way. And then the last chord, uh, oh, E minor is uh, fifth string and fourth string second fret. You might not see me really, all I really need is the fourth string second fret, so I might not do it because I'm finger picking, I'm not strumming. All right, then I'm going to go to the, uh, I'm going to move up to the fourth string third fret, sixth string third fret. And then the third string, fourth fret, I'm going to move my hand up uh, this way. Uh, I'm going to hit the sixth string and then four and three, just like that. So the whole thing sounds like. And I go back to the first chord. Okay. If you can do that, you got most of the song right there. All right. Not all, though. All right, now uh, let me show you how he's playing. He's playing his A minor seven like this, which is a fine way to play. You could do it that way too. I just like the open sound, but uh, that A minor seven is the sixth string, uh, fifth fret, fourth string, and third string at the fifth fret, and now you're hitting the sixth string, four and three, like that. Makes it kind of easy because then you just go back to the E minor chord and you hit the six and four and three and then you come up to the G7. And that's basically what he's doing. Uh, if you see him on any of those uh, YouTube videos, he's playing live. Um, great song, you know. Okay, so that's a basic groove to the most of the song. Uh, there's a couple other chords you're going to need. You're going to need an E minor 7, uh, that's the 5th string, 7th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret. And he's going to use the 5th string and 3 and 2 with his fingers. He's going to do that like 4 times. He's just going to move it back for a D minor 7 4 times. And that is the 5th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 2nd string, 6th fret. Back to that's basically a song right there. So let me uh, let me run through it and show you how to put it together, and I'll put some bass lines in. Uh, he doesn't do that, but if you're playing by yourself and you want to add some bass lines, we can do that too. So uh, let me show it to you. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. So this is your verse. His way, A minor 7 like this, E minor, G7, and then you repeat that. And then E minor 7, D minor 7, A minor 7, E minor, G7, A minor 7. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can play it. Uh, if you want to add the bass lines, then let's do that. All right, I'm gonna play it. Probably play it my own way for uh, putting the bass lines in. So, A minor seven, E minor, G seven, A 
minor 7. Lines. Uh, what I do is I hit the open sixth string, sixth string third fret, uh, sixth string fourth fret. That leads right to you. So you can throw that one in. Uh, later on, you can go or so that was open fifth string, fifth string third fret, and then either open fourth string or you could just move it up uh, to the 5th string 5th fret. Get a nice slide in there or something. So you can add bass lines in if you want. Uh, whatever you like. Alright, so let me give you the form of the song. What we just went through is the verse. And um, you do the verse and then another verse. And then you're off to the bridge. That's I know, I know, I know, I know that part. He comes back in, at, you're out for most of that, and then you come back in at the end with just a little thing like this. You can just leave it there and then just come in for the next verse, or you could add your bass line if you want. Alright, so that's your bridge. You really just have that one little line that you already know how to play that comes in at the end, that's it. Um, then you have another verse, completely the way uh, the way we, way we learned it. Any one of those ways that we did, uh, and then the outro is you basically know it. Um, it's just this over and over again. I'm gonna add the bass line. I can't help it. I just like it. <laughs> but you can leave it out if you want. And then uh, at the end could end it like that. So uh, that last chord, I, I barred the 5th fret, uh, 4, 3, 2, and 1 at the 5th fret. I added my pinky on the 1st string 7th fret, and I have the open 5th string. That's an A minor 9, and the whole orchestra is playing at this point at the end of the song. Um, the orchestra comes in some you know, early on, and it's, by this time it's all chaos and stuff. Somebody's playing that 9 at the end there. It sounds cool. So you can do that. If you don't like that sound, you can just add it on an A minor or A minor 7. Anything like that will do. Okay? So, uh, let's hope we didn't go too fast for you. Maybe I'll just play through the whole thing. I'll probably, uh, probably put some of those bass lines in. Okay? Skip ahead to the end, and then you're into the next, the third verse, last verse. song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, I don't know whether he wrote it or not, but if he did, wow. Well, you know, it was great. What a great riff. Uh, please play more guitar, and uh, life is short. 
and please subscribe. <laughs> My life is short. <laughs>